question number 121 in a transcription unit the promoter is located towards this is memory based question in which we say that the promoter is always located to the five prime end of the coding strand what is coding strand if you see the structure of dna it is double stranded this is three prime to five prime this is five prime to three prime because these are anti parallel to each other these are two strands of dna and this strand of dna acts as template let's say then this will act as non template or the coding strand and the promoter is present at the five prime end of the coding strand you can see here this is the five prime end of the coding strand so promoter is present at the five prime end of the coding strand we always take this convention so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question question number 122 a hypothetical sequence of a transcription unit is represented below so this is the hypothetical sequence of a transcription unit if we switch the position of promoter with terminator in the above given transcription unit and transcription occurs then the sequence of rna transcribed will be this is very interesting question which says that if we switch the position of promoter and the terminator then what will happen what will be the sequence of the rna transcribed see over here in the just previous question we discussed that the promoter is present at the five prime of the coding strand always we take this convention that the promoter is present at the five prime end of the coding strand so this is the site of the promoter and this is the site of the terminator but here in this question says that if we switch the position of the promoter and the terminator then this will come to this side and template strand will become now the coding strand because promoter will be present at the five prime end of the coding strand it should be very clear then you will take the template strand as coding strand and the coding strand as template strand because you have already switched the position of promoter and the terminator now the sequence of the rna transcribed will be exactly same as of the coding strand except at the position of t you should write the u now check the sequences if this is a coding strand now and at five prime end it is the t it means it should start with the u so u a a these three options are ruled out because at the five prime position only a single option contains u a a so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question question number 123 in morgan's experiment which of the following combinations of traits in drosophila represent or represents recombinant type in drosophila morgan took wild type characters and what were they they were red eye brown body and the normal wings so red eye brown body and the normal wings are the wild type characters in drosophila except that you will find the recombinant means if you are getting any combination red eye with the brown body it is obviously a wild type character brown body with the normal wings wild type character red eye with the normal wings wild type character but if you find red eye with the miniature wing definitely that will be a recombinant type so white eye with the miniature wings no they are not the recombinant because white eye and miniature wing both are mutated characters red eye and brown body wild type so they are also not the recombinant types red eye with the miniature wing yes red eye with the miniature wing it is recombinant and white eye with the brown body it is also a recombinant type so third and fourth so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question question number 124 one of the example of polygenic inheritance is what is polygenic inheritance polygenic inheritance says when there is polygenic inheritance is 
the quantitative inheritance means the dominant genes show the additive effect more the number of dominant genes more will be the effect of that gene polygenic names suggest many genes so size of starch grains and pea seeds no pattern baldness no synthesis of phenyl alanine hydroxylase in human beings no these are not the polygenic characters human skin color is a polygenic character how can you really understand it because in human skin color there are no extreme types means only dark and the only white no you will get the intermediate ones also the more the number of dominant genes are present in a human and more the darker color he or she has it means human skin color is a polygenic character it will give you a bell shaped curve and rest of the characters they really don't give you a bell shaped curve so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 Let's move to the next question. Select the incorrect statement from the following. So these are the statements, and read out these statements. In most of the eukaryotes, the structural gene is monocystronic. It is true that in eukaryotes, the structural gene is monocystronic, whereas in prokaryotes, the structural genes are polycystronic. What is monocystronic? Monocystronic says that one gene codes for the one mRNA. Exons are the expressed sequence of genes. Yes, introns do not appear in the processed RNA. Yes, it is true that in eukaryotes there is processing of RNA in which splicing of introns is done, and introns do not appear in the processed RNA. A gene does not code for tRNA. No, there is a gene which codes for tRNA. So the incorrect statement is the fourth one, and the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. 